That's like space. We're going to start a new little series here on my channel today. We're going to start a Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mashup series. Now, it's not going to be like the 10 days of Pat McGrath Labs where I post every day. That's just, that's not feasible for me right now. <laughs> but uh, what we are going to do is we're going to do one a week for I think maybe four or five weeks. I haven't fully decided if it's four or five yet. And we are going to get two Mothership eyeshadow palettes each video and we're going to create an eye look using the two. So like a mashup of the two palettes. You get it? Eh? Eh, eh. Anyway, hopefully that sounds interesting to you. Now today we are going to mash up Bronze Seduction and Midnight Sun. So these two, if I hold them correctly, which would be helpful, these two little bad boys right here. The reason why I picked these two to start off the ranks is because from reading my comments over the last month, it seems like a lot of you have either brought Midnight Sun or Bronze Seduction into your collection recently. So I wanted to start off with these two and then obviously we'll mix up the rest as well. Now hopefully you're still here, you're still keen. If you are, let's go ahead and do the youtube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going to zoom in and get stuck straight into it. I don't know what that was, but here we are. You guys are zoomed in nice and close. I've just filled in my brows and I've primed using my makeup by Mario Eye Primer. Now I am I'm going to quickly insert some swatches for you guys. They're not going to be like the video swatches, but just a photo of the swatches of each of these palettes for you because just in case you're finding this video and you're trying to decide like which of these palettes to buy, if you're trying to compare them or anything, I'm not sure, but I thought I would just include the photos of the swatches. Long-winded, I know. Anyway, here they are. We are winging. This look, we are winging it. So let's just see where it takes us. I'm gonna try and take as many shades from each palette as I can. Um, I don't think this is gonna be like a neutral everyday look because last time I used Midnight Sun, you guys really got mad at me that I didn't use the purple. So I'm gonna use the purple today for you guys, okay? Um, so if you're not looking for a purple look and you're looking for the wearable tones, just a heads up. I mean, you would have already seen the thumbnail, but just a heads up, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be purple, okay? Anyway, um, now I'm going to take this color right here from Midnight Sun first. This is my Repa 16 brush and I'm just going to pick a little bit of this up and we'll just lightly start fluffing it through the crease. I kind of have a look in mind. This isn't going to be a revolutionary eye shape or anything like that either guys. Like I'm not trying any new eye kind of shape techniques here. Um, it'll probably be something that I wear quite often in terms of like the placement of the shadows but I wanted to the point of this series for moi is to give you guys inspo on to like how to create different looks with your palettes um like to use one my a whole game of using a lot of my Pat McGrath palettes is um is to actually inspire you to use a lot of them and like keep using them and keep bringing them out and keep using them for like the everyday. I've just switched to my Delium Tools 776 because um, I like it better. I don't think I set my makeup by Mario Primer properly because the mattes really got caught on it. And that's a me thing, not a matte thing. So don't worry about that. I went in a little bit too heavy handed actually is what the issue was there. Now I'm just packing this into the outer corner here as well. I definitely went too heavy handed here on this eye. So, you know, just be mindful. I'd probably start a lot lighter and build a lot softer because um, I had to work a lot harder to blend that out. <laughs> That's me problem. That's an intention, attention to detail thing. Now I'm going to take my Refa number 13 and I'm going to go into this eggplant purple right here and we're going to deepen this up again. I don't know if I intentionally meant this to be as dark and smoky as it is today, but here we are. So I'm just going to blend this out. It's the exact same steps as the other two, but slightly lower down again. You know, you know the drill, right? You know the drill. Now let's take our Pat McGrath Labs Intensify Stick. Again, say it all the time, but if you don't have this, it's totally fine. You can either just wet your brush, you can use nothing, you can use your finger, you can use concealer. It's totally up to you. I just have this. I like it. It's a good product for me, um, but it's not like, you know, you don't need it. It's not a must have. I'm taking my refer number two and the first color we're going to go into is the purple right here and I'm just going to pick this up. Also refer brushes. I did have someone comment and ask me about what's the best brush to use for like my metallics, especially my pat ones. 
refer. Just get yourself a bunch of like, either just one, I only have one of these and I use it for like nearly every look, but um, refer, refer number two especially, so good. This natural hair, it just picks the shadow up beautifully. So I'm just gonna tap this all over where we put this intensifier stick and I will bring it up slightly. I don't want it to be like a proper strict like little cut crease or anything. If you wish to do that, choose your own adventure and you go right ahead, my friend. We're gonna go into bronze seduction and I'm gonna pick this shadow up and I'm actually just gonna pick this up on my finger and we're gonna tap it over the purple and this is either gonna work really, oh yeah, oh yeah. That looks so funky. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can even see how pretty that is. Oh wow, oh wow, that is like orgasmic. That's like space. That's like Space Odyssey, you know? That should have been Celestial Odyssey. You know what I'm saying? This green shadow from um, Bronze Seduction, if you didn't know, fun fact, is actually my favorite shadow in the entire Mothership series. It is Gort Jina. Let me go ahead and take that refer number 13 and we're going into that dark eggplant color from Bronze Seduction and just tapping that over the outer corners here again. Just to... Oh, that? looks so cool even that purple matte on the outer corner just like slightly overlapping those two colors there looks amazing wow that is such a cool i didn't know how that was going to turn out that is so cool now you could make this a little bit more wearable um like for example if you just have bronze seduction you could lay like this one or this one down and then pop that over the top and it would be a lot more wearable um, or even if you wanted to mix them still you could put this down from midnight sun and then like pop that over the top um you know, you can play around with a few things like that if you want to make it more wearable, but damn, for nighttime, that's amazing. I hope that even kind of translates to camera how beautiful that is in real life. Oh my lord. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and um, finish the rest of my face makeup now, and I might do a little speed through, like I won't talk through because otherwise this video will be a million years long, um, but I will just like speed through so you can see what I'm using and stuff. And then if you can let me know in the comments down below if you like that when I do like quick little eyeshadow looks, do you want to see the speed through of the rest of my face? Let me know. Anyway, let's go. Face and lips and everything is done. I figured I may as well just do everything in the little speed through while we were at it. And then now we can just finish up the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take my Delium Tools 777 shader brush and we're gonna go into this shade right here from Midnight Sun. And we will just run this underneath the lower lash line. And you can go as smoky as you like. Yeah, I tend to not go too, too smoky with my lower lash line. I don't generally think it suits me. I know you guys seem to quite like it on me, but I don't know. I'm still, the jury's out. Then I'm picking up my Refer number three pencil brush 
And we will go into the Eggplant Purple from Bronze Seduction. And we'll run this in the outer corner and just like deepen it all up here. And then for the inner corner, I'm just going to take my Jessup uh, pencil brush and we're going to go into this color from Bronze Seduction. And I'll just pop that in here. For eyeliner and mascara, I'm going to put the Charlotte Tilbury Black Eyeliner in the top waterline. And I'm going to put this ColourPop one in the bottom, which is called Icebreaker. It's like a mint green. But you could obviously do whatever color you want or no eyeliner. And then for mascara, I'm going to mix the NARS Climax and the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascaras. You do not need to mix mascaras, you guys. I just have a few tested little ones like that that I'm trying to use up before they go bad. So I'm like mixing them just because I can. So that's why. Anyway, I'm going to go and do that off camera and then we will come back and we'll wrap this up and see the finished look. So just a jiffy. And this is the finished makeup look. What do we think? I freaking love it. I love it so much, you guys. If you have bronze seduction and midnight sun, please swatch the purple with that green over the top because look, it is so magical. I know for a 110% fact that this eyeshadow is not translating from like real life to camera because in real life, this color looks truly like the galaxy. It is insane. It's truly mind-blowing. Highly recommend trying this look if you have both of these palettes. And um, yeah, I'm I'm obsessed. But let me know your thoughts down below. Um, and let me know if you're if you're into this, if you're into this kind of like little series here on the channel. You know, I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing your feedback. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I truly, truly appreciate you. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.